Meanwhile, back in Treasure Town. I see! That's what happened to your water float. That's a mean thing to do. I hope JTM Ellie's team is on the way there. Yep. Well, they said they'd get it for us. Oh, it's good for you. You can always know you're you're in good hands with Game Del Toy. That's true. Once saved Azriel, I'm grateful. Good day to you all. Is something the matter? Hello, Dust Noir. We're just talking to Mario about Mario's lost item. We discussed it the other day. Of course. I believe you're referring to the water float. I seem to recall you've heard that it wasn't on the beach. Exactly. But now there's more to the story. I see. Well, that's terrible indeed. It's hard to imagine why anyone would want to do something like that. It must take some pathetic thugs to stoop that low. I couldn't agree more. To be so mean-spirited to children. It's utterly unforgivable. One more thing. Where has Team Deltoy gone? Oh, they went to Ant Plains. Pardon? Ant Plains? But there, at this time of year, it's the season... Oh, no, this is ruinous. Oh, they're in grave danger. What? I must leave immediately. What? 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 Wait! You gotta expect in this area. Ah, oh, no! I don't have one either. Shoot. Oh, that didn't send me anywhere! That freaking stinks! Aw, oh, you fart knocker! Boom! Dang it, man! That was cheap! when they fall behind like that. Man, that makes me so mad. Frustrates the heck out of me.
Oh, that's just a special fan. I don't need that anyway. use that just to get rid of it. Looks like lightning can strike any place, anytime. Oh, well, we should get away from here as fast as possible, huh? Hey, over there! Is that the water float? Let's take a closer look. 
Uh, huh? Why did you come here? This is our territory. Hey, someone's here. Hide! <laughs> Hiding is pointless. My vision pierces the dark to see all. I spot prey that seek refuge in shadow. Then I strike. Well, thanks for telling me your trick. Well, it's no good. We can't hide. Who are you? Come out. I am Luxury, or however you pronounce it. Leader of the Luxio tribe. I don't know how you pronounce this stuff. Huh? Prepare to fight! This is not too bad of a fight, really. Here to make claims. Enough. Take this. <laughs> Stop. Stop this instant. Their words are sincere. They trespass, but they do not tend to make claims to your territory. Dust Noir? You. Who are you? I am the explorer Dusk Noir. Your fury is righteous and just, Luxury. Especially in light of what your tribe has suffered on these grounds. Your hostility towards any that trespass here is natural. This place is your haven. A place where you find solace. Or solace, whatever. I understand that completely. On behalf of these unwitting trespassers, I offer my sincerest apology. They, hit, they entered here unbidden but did so without malice. They mean no harm. We will leave you in peace as soon as our errand is complete. Believe us. You seem to know much about us, Dust Noir. You make the claim that they mean no harm. So be it. I choose to believe your words. I will allow you some time. I expect you to be gone by our return. Come. Whew. Thank you, Dust Noir. You saved us, but who were they? Luxury and Luxio tribe. I cannot pronounce this stuff. I'm sorry. They are Nobic. They are a an. They are a nomadic tribe. 
that always stays on the move. They roam in constant search of place. They roam in constant search of places that are hospitable to them. Ant Plains is often lashed by thunderstorms this time of year. They find it to their liking, so they dwell here. Tragically, they were once attacked by enemies here without warning, and I understand that they suffered terrible injuries. From that day, they have been extremely suspicious. So if anyone trespassed upon their grounds, they would strike first, out of fear of being stricken. Over the course of many years, that became the law here. Oh, I get it. So that's why they came after us. No wonder they wouldn't listen to us. Oh, I forgot something. The water floats over there. There it is. Can you take a look at this? There is no mistaking it. Without a doubt, that's a water float. Oh, really? Well, we did it then. Let's take this back to the little ones. I wonder how this water float wound up here anyway. I would imagine that it was put here deliberately. Whoever did this knew that you would eventually get here. Of course, they knew that this territory was guarded. They put the item here, hoping to provoke the clash between you and the tribe. Wasn't that your intention, you sneaking scoundrels? Huh? It's about time you came out of hiding and showed yourselves. Ja, wah, wah. So you knew all along. No boarding hiding then. It's you, thugs. <laughs> ja, wah, wah. So you guys did it. Why? We were counting on Luxury and his crew to work you over. Then we were going to step in and mop up. But we didn't count on this guy meddling. Shall we settle this? Sure, if it was just Team Deltoy, you could bet we'd rough him up. But against you, that's another story. Let's get out of boys. Stinkers! I'll never forgive them. Well, they certainly are quick when it comes to skedaddling. I'm afraid our effort would be wasted if we were to give chase. Well, let's deliver this water float. Oh, wow! We got it back! Thank you, really! Man, you saved us way back then, and now this. I don't know how we could repay you. But really, thank you. Well, it's alright. If you ever want to thank anyone, thank us, Noir. If he hadn't been there, we wouldn't even be here. Thank you! No trouble at all. I'm very happy for you. It's wonderful that you got that water float back. I must say, it is so like the great Dust Noir to be so modest. And I must say that Team Deltoy has also been superb. After all, the team has, again, com completed a difficult job. Rescuing Azriel. You were so fast at pinpointing the whereabouts. Oh, about the rescue? We do have to admit something. It'd be cool if it really happened the way you think. But that's not exactly the truth. We didn't pin down the exact location before we rescued him. My partner here just happened to see it in some kind of dream. Excuse me, a dream you say? By dream, what do you mean? Oh, right. Maybe Dust Noir knows what it means. Well, he occasionally gets dizzy spells when touching something or someone. And then my partner sees or hears events that happened in the past or just about to happen in the future. Well, that's the dimensional scream. Huh? You mean you know something about that? Well, in that case, maybe we should ask him more? Oh, right! About my past! Well, is that okay to ask, then? Well, Dustnor, there's something we'd like your advice on. I see. So you found our friends with unconscious right here. Yep. This is it. When you regain consciousness, 
you lost your memory. Yep, he could remember his name and had memory of being a human before that. I beg your pardon? A human? But a friend here looks just like a Pokemon in every way. That's true. I guess this is even beyond your understanding. But we're sure that something caused his memory loss and caused a transformation. A human with a dimensional scream ability. You are... You said your name, at least. And what was your name? Oh, I see. You're a JT O'Malley. Does that name ring a bell? No. It means nothing to me, unfortunately. What? Did I just see the faintest... Did Dusty just hide the faintest smile? Or did I just imagine that? I'm sincerely sorry I couldn't help you with that. However, I do know about the ability. Oh, really? The ability to see the future or past by touching something. That is the dimensional scream. Such abilities learned, I don't know. But sounds and images slice across the boundaries of time, breaching objects and reaching to Pokemon to manifest in it as visions. And that is all that I know. So, he has an ability called the Dimensional Scream. Well, perhaps this is why we became friends. To help unravel the secret. I offer you my full cooperation. Oh! Yes, to be perfectly candid, I can't stand knowing that there's something I don't know. Quite honestly, that is the full truth of it. Well, that's great to know. Isn't this awesome? Hey! Pelipper! Or whatever. Dr. Pepper Birds! I don't know. There seems to be a lot more flying around than usual. Could something be the matter? Hey! Bidoof! I finally found you all. Well, what's the big rush? You're all out of breath. The call has been put out. All the apprentices are to report to the guild immediately. Oh, something is up. I will go with you. Hurry, everyone! Well, everybody, that's going to be it for part 22 of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Time for the Nintendo DS. Hope you all enjoyed it, and stay tuned for part 23. J2Mally96861 signing off. I'll see you on the next part.